so this guy's getting ready to ticket these three cars right here the Honda the BMW and the Mercedes I'm double parked right now for the uh, street cleaning from 11 a.m. to 12:30, and the sign where I'm parked at it shows from that point from the Honda to the corners there's no parking from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. it's now 11:40 in the morning or 11:35 in the morning so this uh, tow truck driver decides he doesn't want to tow the Mercedes or the BMW that's in the middle there that he wants to tow the Honda for whatever particular reason he wouldn't tell me he just said he wants to take that one so I questioned it I was like What's the difference? You know, look, you got the Mercedes, he's illegally parked. You got the BMW who's illegally parked. Nah, I want the Honda. So we're going to see what goes on over here. This guy is, I don't know. Is there a, a difference in, uh, in towing different types of vehicles? Is the Honda more money to get than the Mercedes? Comment below, subscribe to my channel. Thank you all for watching. I'm just hanging out here. Hanging out, had my breakfast. This guy decides to walk up to my car and ask me, Hey, do you know the guy who owns the Hyundai Sonata that was parked in front of me? Because he's illegally parked. And if you don't go get him, I'm going to tow him. I'm like, I don't even know this guy. I don't know who he is. I mean, you know, you do what you got to do. Well, you know, I'm trying to, you know, do him a favor by you going to go get him. I was like, well, why can't you go look for him? That's not my job. Okay. So you're telling me, I don't even know you. You're telling me to go find somebody before you tow his car away. Thankfully, the guy came back. He went to go get something to eat. And, uh... You know, he was a Spanish-speaking Dominican. I had to explain to him in Spanish that he was going about to tow your car. That if you want, when the guy, the tow truck driver, the traffic cop decides to uh, tow the Honda away, the guy can pull in and take the spot. I mean, the things you see in New York is just—it's just amazing. It's just amazing. So, I'm going to uh, see what happens here. So, stay with me. You know, it's, he's got to do his job, you know. He's got to do his job, and he's doing by right. These guys are not supposed to be parking here. They don't, they don't read the sign. But I think he should just start towing from the Mercedes and then onward to the BMW. Call the, uh, call the cavalry, you know. Get your other two buddies over here. Tell them to tow away the Mercedes and the BMW, and then you can still take your Honda. I just think he's being a little too uh, uh, suspicious and, and, and specific about which car he wants to take. What do you guys think? Comment below. Let me know. Do you think he's just uh, profiling the Honda and not the Mercedes or the BMW? Is there a reason for it? Maybe he's told this Honda before and... Uh, I guess this guy hasn't learned his lesson, so he wants to do it again just to be, you know, 
Try to keep it clean at all times here. Wonder what's going to happen. All right, so let me explain why they, this particular three spots here are, are, are no parking from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. Uh, there's a school to my right, which I'm not going to say the name, and they require that area to be cleared within those hours for whatever reasons it is, and people should respect the sign. So now he's getting ready to issue the tickets to the Benz, the Beamer, and the Honda, which he's going to go and take the Honda in particular. And he just seems really excited. I'm gonna get me my Honda. 
I'm gonna get me my Honda. Oh, my Honda pilot's coming with me. Coming with me, coming with me. Here we go. He's going to take it. I don't know how in the world he's going to do this. This guy means business, man. This guy is, he's no joke. Determined. I'm gonna take my Honda. I'm gonna take my Honda. My Honda pilot's coming with me. Looks like he's having a hard time trying to hook it. He's going to blow out his tires, man. Does this guy know what he's doing? I'm enjoying this. If anybody's enjoying this, man, comment below. Let me know. Comments are always welcome. This guy has no clue what he's doing. He's going to ruin this car.
Oh my god, he just turned the wheel. He just turned the front wheel. You know, I had my, uh, I had a, I had a Toyota 4Runner once, and, and they got towed. The guy, the traffic cop, gives me a ticket for being 13 inches from the fire hydrant, not 15. And uh, six minutes later, he tells me, the same guy tells me. So now he's taking, so this guy's taking the Honda. And, uh, <laughs> he's doing his job. I, I have to, you know, I, I'm for the guy. He's, he's respect, respecting the, uh, the regulations, the parking regulations, and if you can't park there from 8 to 6, you can't park there from 8 to 6. Lesson learned, people. <coughs> when in doubt, you want to park too close to a fire hydrant, don't do it. I've learned my lesson, and I've, since then, I see an opportunity to park, I don't, I don't park near a fire hydrant. And, uh, Don't park where you shouldn't park. This guy is so happy. He's got his Honda Pilot. He is rewarded with an A+. Great job, sir. Checking it out. Yeah. Looking good. Cha-ching. All right. Now I can go take my break. I'm tired of this. It's ridiculous. I'm hungry. <laughs> you know, it's funny, man. This is perfect timing, too. I got the sweeper right behind him, waiting for him to finish what he's doing so he can pass, and then I'm pulling over to get my spot. Whoever this owner is, man, I feel sorry for you. I feel bad. But you gotta, you gotta remember, man. You gotta learn to read the signs before you park somewhere. Nothing lasts forever. Everything changes. All the, all the signs, they always change. Well, on that note, hope everybody's having a great day. Enjoy that. And uh, be safe out there. Take care.